What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a look at the new wizard archetypes added with Beta Phase 3 for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Now, in this video we're just covering the new archetypes, but that said, there are three of them that were added for the wizard. Two regular archetypes as well as a racial archetype. But if you are more interested in the wizard as a whole and its class mechanics as well as the other archetypes, I'll post a link to the video I covered that in down below if you're interested. For this video though, we're just talking about these archetypes that were added with Beta Phase 3. So with that out of the way, let's jump into it. Our first one is Elemental Specialist. Now right off the bat with Elemental Specialist, you do not get to pick a specialist school. You have to take Evocation. That of course provides the benefits of the Evocation Specialist School as well. But I covered that in the Wizard video, so we're moving on. Now, in addition to this, you do actually have to pick up an extra opposition school as well. So normally a wizard has to take a specialist school, and if it's not universalist, they have to take two opposition schools. Well, elemental specialist has to take three. Opposition schools force you to use more spell slots for spells from your opposition school. Now at level one, for the trade-off there, we are going to pick up focused element at first level. We select an element. We gain the ability to convert elemental spell damage to that type. At 15th level, spells of our chosen element also deal half of the damage as untyped damage. And that's going to pretty much do it for the elemental specialist. But moving on to our next one, the spellmaster. So with the spellmaster, you again do not get to pick a specialist school. You have to take universalist. Now, that's important because universalist means you don't have to take an opposition school. But the trade-off for that forced move is that you get focused spells at level 1. Once per day, the spellmaster can choose to take a caster level 4 increase for a single spell cast. We can do it twice per day at 8th level and three times per day at 16th level, which is pretty strong by itself. But in addition, we do not get to choose our arcane bond, which is normally a familiar or an object, and both do different things. We are forced to take the arcane bond object, which allows us to use our object to restore a spell slot per day. Now starting at level 5, we trade our bonus feat for item bond specialization. So at five and every five levels after that, we gain an additional use of our item bond feature at the expense of two of our wizard bonus feats. So at max level, we'll be able to use our item bond five times per day as opposed to just once. And then last up, we have our word I'm not even gonna pronounce, but it means uh, vampire blood magic master, basically. So this is our racial archetype. It is required that you be a dampier to do this. You do not get to pick your specialist school. You have to take necromancy which comes with all the necromancy benefits, of course. Moreover, you do not get an arcane bond at all, either object or familiar. But you do get blood infusion. When you cast a necromancy school spell, you can opt to infuse that spell with your undead tainted blood as a swift action. As you increase in level, the power and effects of this become more potent. Each time you use a blood infusion, however, you do take damage to yourself, 1d4 plus half your wizard level, and you can only affect a spell with a single type of infusion. At first level, you can infuse your necromancy spells in the following ways. Focused infusion, when you cast this, you add a plus one to the DC of the infused necromancy spell. Or sickening, any creature damaged by the infused necromancy spell becomes sickened for one round. Now, at the cost of our wizard bonus feat at level five, we pick up commanding infusion. When using this to animate dead, we, our summoned skeletons gain a plus four enhancement bonus to strength and constitution as if they were affected by augment summoning. And then finally, at level 20, we trade our wizard bonus feat again for perfect infusion, which removes the damage we take for using our blood infusions. Now, there you go, guys. There are the wizard archetypes that were added. I don't personally like this racial archetype one very much. Like, I realize that as you level up, these infusions become stronger. Overall, with losing the item bond and stuff, I don't know that I personally would use this. Like, it's not bad because, again, that stuff increases DC and stuff as you level up. Because you're taking damage and everything at the same time and wizards don't have a lot of health to begin with, it just, I don't know. I don't know that I would use this personally. But there you go, guys. There is the archetypes for the wizard in beta phase three. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.